I'm David Brooks, and this is a project that's titled uh, Preserved Forest. Numerous nursery-grown trees, not trees that I went and plucked out of an ecosystem somewhere. We built an earth ramp, uh, like 50 cubic yards or more of actual earth built up to simulate a sort of hillside. The trees then are planted to approximate an Amazonian rainforest. So it's, the idea is it's a displaced patch of forest brought into here. We then sprayed the whole forest with a couple of uh, types of spray guns. There's, it's a concrete that actually has a little bit of latex infused in it. And then there's um, about a cement truck's worth of concrete that was pumped over the forest and creates this sort of lava flow that you see down here. The, the mantra behind the piece is really just to, um, to take this very old story, that of deforestation. It's not a new story, but it's one whose scale um, is only getting larger with each year, especially with um, the development of, of roads down in, uh, throughout the Amazonian basin uh, for the exportation of soy, <laughs> ironically. But, and to take it out of the, the abstract, intangible insignificance of just imagery and bring it to its physicality, engage it as an action. This is an action, not a composition. Uh, and bring the, sort of the, the materialism of it to the viewer himself. Deforestation, climate change, oil spills, all of these things are like really in, inextricably linked. I have used the material before because it's a very loaded material, concrete being one of the three top worst emitters of carbon in the atmosphere. We use it obviously because it has a, a stability to it. And then we have, um, of course, organic matter. <laughs> and so they're going to kind of begin to define each other. But I've also done experiments with things like even like an aloe plant, which was encrusted in concrete and actually popped up and took the concrete with it. <laughs> there, there could very well be some cases like that. So it's a little bit of a, a process that I, I can't control, um, but there would certainly be a lot of decay that goes on, but also, especially down at the base areas, a lot of that decay will be um, entombed in the concrete and sort of fossilized in a way. So there's a decay, a decomposition, but also a fossilization going on at the same time.